Hi, it's uh, Nick from Digital Op with a comparison today of two of our latest AIS transponders, the AIT-2000 and the 2500. So let's take a look. The AIT-2000 uses Class B AIS technology. So that's a 2 watt power output with a transmission every 30 seconds, ideal for use on recreational and sailboats and so on, and technology that's been implemented for a while. But there's a new Class B technology available now called Class B+, Plus, which uses SOTDMA type transmissions, more akin to a Class A transponder. And that's now implemented in our AIT 2500. So the main difference is power output. It's a 5 watt power output as opposed to a 2 watt power output. And the frequency of update, in other words the regularity of the transmission, uh, is faster as the vessel goes faster. So you get a more regular update the quicker you go. Ideal for use on fast motorboats and so on. Perhaps most importantly, the SOTDMA technology guarantees you a slot for an AIS transmission in the AIS system. So which one should you choose? Uh, predominantly if you're a sailboat uh, cruising sub 10 knots and so on, traditional Class B technology with its cost saving will be ideal. There's also a slight power reduction as well. Uh, thanks to the 2 watt power output as opposed to 5 watts, so if battery life and battery uh, storage capability on a sailboat may be an issue, the 2 watt Class B transmissions are absolutely fine. However, if you're a fast boat moving above 15 knots, I'd seriously recommend looking at SOTDMA Class B Plus technology with its more regular update. And also, if you're an ocean going yacht looking to transverse across oceans and so on, the more powerful 5 watt power output may be useful. So, both options available in the same physical format. Remember too that with an AIS transponder, uh, they ship with a GPS antenna, they require their own uh, GPS, a special RAM enabled GPS uh, to guarantee that the GPS fix is valid prior to sending an AIS transmission. And then obviously also a VHF antenna or connection to one of our splitters. Both models have NMEA 0183 and NMEA 2000 outputs and inputs as well. And also a USB connection for a PC or Mac for programming and so on. And both models can also be connected to any of our wireless uh, to NMEA gateways if you want to enable tablet and iPad navigation. So that's a quick comparison of the two models, both available now, and Digitally Art giving you the biggest choice of AIS. Thanks for listening.